द क्वेश्चन इज इफ वाई इज कल टू एक्सपोनेंशियल ए साइन इनवर्स एक्स देन प्रूव दैट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई एन प्लस टू माइनस टू एन प्लस वन एक्स इन टू वाई एन प्लस वन माइनस एन स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर वाई एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर वाई एन स्टैंड फॉर द एनथ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो फॉर प्रूविंग दिस रिलेशन फर्स्ट ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ऑबटेन ए रिलेशन बिटवीन वाई टू वाई वन एंड वाई एंड फॉर दिस वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट टू वाई विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स Here y is exponential a sin inverse x. The differentiation of y will be y1. Y1 means d by upon dx is equal to exponential a sin inverse x into the differentiation of a sin inverse x, and that is a upon square root of 1 minus x square. This can be written as square root of 1 minus x square into y1 is equal to a into exponential a sin inverse x. And exponential a sin inverse x is equal to y, so this will be equal to a into y. Now we will remove the sign of square root, and for this we will squaring this uh, relation. So squaring to this relation, we will get one minus x square into y one square is equal to a square y square. This can be written as one minus x square y one square minus a square y square is equal to zero. Now we will again differentiate to this equation with respect to x to obtain the relation between y to y1 and y. Differentiating to this with respect to x, the differentiation of the first term will be the differentiation of 1 minus x square into y1 square is 1 minus x square the first term into the differentiation of y1 square that is 2 y1 into y2 plus. The differentiation of one minus x square is minus two x into y one square. Minus the differentiation of a square y square is a square into two y into y one, and it is equal to zero. Two y one can be taken as common, so this equation becomes one minus x square y two minus x into y one minus a square y is equal to zero. So this is the equation between y two y one and y. Now to find the required relation, we will differentiate to this equation n times and use Leibniz theorem. So differentiating n times to this equation, this will become n times the derivative of one minus x square y two minus x y one minus a square y is equal to zero. This can be written as n times the derivative of one minus x square into y two minus n times the derivative of x into y one. Minus a square n times derivative of y is equal to zero. Now to find the first term and second term, this is the nth derivative of one minus x square into y two, and in second term that nth derivative of x into y one. We will use the Leibniz theorem, and according to Leibniz theorem, the nth time derivative of one minus x square into y two will be one minus x square into n times derivative of y two. Plus n c one into the differentiation of one minus x square that is minus two x into n minus one times derivative of y two plus n c two into the differentiation of uh, minus two x that is minus two into n minus two times derivative of y two plus the next term will be equal to zero because the differentiation of minus two will be equal to zero now. For finding the value of n time derivative of x into y one, again we will use the Leibniz theorem, and this time the minus one minus sign is outside, so this will become minus into x into n time derivative of y one minus n c one into the differentiation of x is one into n minus one times derivative of y one minus a square n time derivative of y is equal to zero. n times derivative of y2 this can be written as n plus 2 times derivative of y so this become 1 minus x square into y n plus 2 minus n c1 is equal to n so this will be minus 2 nx n minus 1 times derivative of y2 will be equal to n plus 1 times derivative of y so this is y n plus 1 plus n c2 the value of n c2 is n n minus 1 upon 2 And this will become minus n into n minus one into n minus two times derivative of y two is y n 
minus n times derivative of y is y n plus 1. So it becomes x into y n plus 1 minus n into y n minus a square n times derivative of y is y n. So and it is all equal to 0. On simplifying to this we will get 1 minus x square y n plus 2 minus 2 n plus 1 x into y n plus 1 minus n square plus a square into y n is equal to 0 and this was the relation that we have to prove.